Okay, so this is one of the levels I was working on most recently. And yes, regardless of whether or not I can use SMW Central to submit ROM hacks, I'm still going to finish this one off. So I might as well just like confirm it right now that I'm definitely going to work on a sequel to Colossus. It's basically confirmed I'm going to work on it at this point. I have to finish my own one? Just hang on a minute quickly. It shouldn't take long, I'm just gonna go and pull up the first Colossus for further reference. Yeah, because I made the first one back in 2014. Yeah, I wouldn't say getting Permavent from Super Mario Central looks very good. Oh, Cormine, that RSD Game Maker game you're working on. So I made this back in 2014. This is the first Colossus. And it's still probably one of my favorite ROM hacks that I did make. Even though there are definitely some things I wish I would have done differently in Colossus. I think I'll just play around in World 9 level just so you can see how hard it can get at times. Let's see how much of a chance I stand here. I made some really, really hard levels towards the end of this thing. Sometimes they border on fair too. For example, like, the final set of levels just have some extremely long maze-like sections where you can actually just go the wrong way and find yourself running around in a circle if you're really not lucky. Okay, I just have to go or I'm never gonna get anything done here, clearly. And yes, these are missile bills, by the way. Okay, I probably want to be able to catch that and ride up. Just quickly try another of these levels and see what happens. For example. I mean, most of the levels weren't too punishing, but once you get really far into Colossus, it just gets brutal. So I'll have to wonder if I want to make, like, Colossus 2 as brutal. I mean, if I do, I would probably consider adding multiple midpoints in this time around. For example, just having more than one checkpoint would probably go a long way. Alright, see you later. So I'll try this one more time, maybe? Because I didn't even feel like I got that far. Never mind, try again. Standard hard, not Kaizo at least. I mean, I definitely want to make the second Colossus challenging, but I don't want to make it too ridiculous. For example, I do feel like the final two worlds of Colossus are just pushing it. I mean, I definitely have beaten all of these safe state lists. I made sure these were beatable safe state lists, as if you were actually playing this on console before even submitting the ROM hack. That's in that central, but still. Just because I can do it doesn't necessarily mean everyone else will have an easy time with it. Okay, that Koopa can still actually hit me, by the way. It was very stressful back when you played this. I have no idea if I'll ever do a full Colossus playthrough in the future. I mean, I'm probably not gonna go back and make this one any easier. I'll try and just make sure I don't, like, go too crazy, too overboard with the difficulty on the second go-around. Hence the Colossus sequel I'd like to just get done one of these days, but... 
I definitely want to make it big, just like the first one. I mean, the first one isn't called Colossus for nothing. So I definitely want the second one to be, like, just about as big, if not possibly bigger. I mean, I did write down somewhere I wanted to do 13 worlds for the second Colossus, but I'm not sure if I'll have enough room to actually put, like, 13 worlds into a ROM file. I mean, splitting it on two ROM files would be another idea, but would I really want to go through it just splitting it into two ROM files? I've only ever seen one other ROM hack in the years of playing ROM hacks. I've only ever seen one that just split among two ROM files. Yeah, I think that was Martyr the Archaeologist or something, which I played like way back in the day. Yeah, overall, still pretty pleased with the first Colossus. It's just there's definitely things I would have done differently. <laughs> I highly doubt I'll ever make another level like this again, either. I mean, this was cool, but... Yeah, just, like, imagine trying to play through this. This was an idea, but... Maybe, like, not the best one I could have possibly had. I mean, I definitely want to try just something that I hadn't tried before. And I figured this is definitely something I didn't do yet. Making a level. But maybe there's a reason why I just never really did this before and haven't done another of these since. I mean, it's hard to see the enemies for one. I mean, you can still see stuff. Like, the whole point is that things are just much harder to see than they would be otherwise. But maybe if I were to do this again, I could make the level easier to compensate for the fact that stuff is just naturally much harder to see. Yeah, you just sort of have to pay attention to, like, what's moving in what fashion. To just be able to tell coins apart from Eries and Bullet Bills and just everything else. Okay, if I get to the midpoint, that's going to be pretty cool. Just trying to tell everything apart here is fun. I don't know if, if that's where you get your enjoyment from. Or you just might want to play something else entirely after seeing something like this. Yeah, so still not too certain if I'm ever going to make another level like this here again. Hall of the Unseen. Ghost House in World 7. Okay, maybe at least I should have put a midpoint by now. I might have been close, and let's just say if I was close, honestly, I honestly don't care at this point. I just wanted to try and prove a point that I could have done some things in the first Colossus differently. For example, a level like that could have been more forgiving, considering it's basically just the gimmick that you can barely see anything properly. You're looking at shadows of objects and enemies, and just terrain in general. But you still also have to work with the animation of everything. That's BanCon. I'm basically just holding a gathering for anyone who wants to attend. Sort of just like in honor of me getting permanently banned from Super Mario Central. Well, I wouldn't know if honor is the correct word to use. Yeah, but basically, just about anyone's welcome here. Just gonna, like, say it now. Yeah, I was honestly dumbfounded at the reason that was stated on SMW Central's site. I mean, whenever, like, someone does get, like, banned from the site, in some capacity. Like, it does get logged. I remember this being implemented around 2018 because quite a few users complained about some of the bans being a little arbitrary in how they happen, or just... They just wanted less transparency between, like, the staff and just every other user of the site. Alright, so May 30th, 2021. Got banned for... Fostering a hostile environment of bigotry 
and being complacent to extreme views, including graphic death threats. While off-site, this kind of dangerous complacency and behavior has no place in our community. This is on top of many other minor offenses, such as continually posting messages from private channels in the Discord server and public spaces in an instigative manner. Yeah, this little gathering is happening right now, actually. And I figure in the meantime, we'll also work on my Super Mario ROM hack. So yeah, I'm just going to make it clear now that I'm doing a sequel to Colossus. Like, it's confirmed. And you're actually looking at a level in the second Colossus right here and now. I have already completed the first half of it. High levels will be a pro maker just like in other games. Death threats? Yeah. But I was not the one uttering any death threats. And I would never condone that either. This was just someone in my Discord server who snapped at another user. And started talking about how they were going to kill them. But I can still honestly not exactly get over the fact that I'm being punished for someone else just misbehaving. Is because I associated with this person in some way. It's like who I chose to associate with that also sort of got me banned. But to be honest, it definitely wasn't just for that one incident in my Discord server. And the other incidents involving maybe some distasteful memes. For example, like I think a couple days ago, a few people were posting like distasteful memes about George Floyd's death. And I responded to those earlier saying, I'm going to let you just post whatever you want. I'm super libertarian about what you post on my Discord server, but I don't have to like it. Yeah, let me just reiterate that, like, George Floyd did not deserve to die. Like, the punishment, like, did not at all fit the crime. What do you mean, question meme? I'll just make it clear that George Floyd should not be dead. Autocorrect is screwing up as well. Yeah, what is a question meme? I haven't really inserted custom music into too many of my levels yet. One of these days I will just go and get a bunch of custom music for my levels. And yes, I already do have a lot of them built. Haven't actually made any overworlds yet, I just sketched out some possible maps in MS Paint. Okay, this right here is the level I was working on as of late. So this is gonna be in World 6. Okay, maybe I should actually put on some music. So yeah, Debug did actually link me a playlist. But I actually did already find my own, like, selection of custom music. Basically just a bunch of custom music from various Super Mario ROM hacks. I mean, I was able to just quickly look through the playlist. It's a pretty long playlist at that, too. It has over 200 songs in it. Alright, where's the play button? Okay, there's play all. Plus, there's plenty of tracks in there I recognize and I like. So I'll probably just let the whole thing play while I do the stream. Yeah, like I definitely definitely recognize this one here. Yeah, I use this one in bits and pieces. In at least a few levels. The outside part of Bowser's mouth that definitely rings a bell. This looks easier than the first World Six Levels in Colossus. Oh yeah, this might end up being significantly easier than Rock Palace now that I think about it. Yeah, that being the World Six in the first Colossus. I might eventually one day just want to pay tribute to that world because I definitely like the theme. 
that I was going for. Just beautiful looking castle levels. <laughs> Definitely like the theme there. Yep, Beecroft Stronghold or something it was. <laughs> Should've just let myself take the hit at that point. Might also consider making music. I still have yet to learn how to actually port songs to text files that you can actually insert into Super Mario ROM hacks. Klaus is your favorite ROM hack. Oh, Higsby, welcome back to the stream. Then again, like, you didn't drop by one of these streams earlier now, did you? I mean, I definitely recognize you from my Discord server. I'm pretty sure someone also did port, like, Terranigma Underworld to Super Mario ROM hacks. I'm pretty sure it has been done, too. And yes, I want to try to make a full-fledged Colossus sequel. Hopefully just about as big, if not maybe even bigger than the first one. Definitely looking back at the first Colossus, there are definitely some things I could have done very differently. For example, the long levels don't still only have one midpoint. Especially the final two. With rooms placed in a seemingly random order, possibly up to at least a dozen rooms placed in a random order, connected randomly between one another. Also, a few connected in such a way that you can actually go back in the level. As if a super long level isn't bad enough, you can actually just by accident backtrack in it if you just pick the wrong path. Right. I mean, it did honestly seem hard to believe that I was gonna get just banned out right. I mean, I only previously got like one warning for offensive behavior prior to this permaban. So regardless, it's still gonna come as a surprise. funny thing about, like, the warning I got for offensive behavior was issued by a guy who at one point was on, like, eight final warnings before he'd get permabanned from SNW Central, and then, like, almost two years later, he was outed for being a sexual predator. <laughs> yeah, the guy just trying to get, like, explicit photos from underage boys. Or something like that. Of course, he was permaban from Super Mario Central once, like, that was proven. And I believe at one point that guy was in a position of power and could basically just dictate what you can and can't say on the Central. like the unpolished nature of old hacks sometimes. Well, I can see why. I think the second half of this honestly needs to get started. And I'm likely just gonna recycle a bunch of the assets from the first half. So this is essentially underground jungle level where you're hopping across frameable blocks and Frame on nets. These are sort of a recurring staple in some of my ROM hacks. <laughs> I recognize this one too. Alright, Castle from Algahest, I'm pretty sure. I'm just gonna give myself, or maybe the, the player, a bit more room to just set themselves up here, because there's a plant that will shoot three fireballs that will probably follow this sort of trajectory. They typically follow this trajectory here. So just to give them a bit more space. Honestly, I have no idea. 
I just know this song because of the Super Mario ROM hacks I got featured in. Including one of my own, of course. Alright, level 9C is... Where I want to just continue building this undergrowth level. I was definitely considering making this a vertical level, the second half. I could also throw in a vertical auto-scroller. Likely gonna make the player traverse upwards. Of course, across more, like, frameable blocks and frameable nets. That's gonna stay in the second half. I'll have to set this. If I'm doing a vertical level, vertical scroll it well, otherwise what's the point? Right, that's typically the level mode I want for vertical levels. Changing the horizontal, horizontal level mode. Come on, Vusoya, you've been working on this for like, what, 20 years? Above Canopy Temple. Yeah, this is going to lead into a fortress level of some sort. Yeah, I do have a fortress level queued up to come after. Which I actually still have to take from another ROM hack that I cancelled. Proceed, uh, proceed. Wait, what did I just do? Okay, I think I just changed the wrong setting. Oh, that's the wrong setting. That's gonna force it to a vertical level. So this is what I want to do, that forces it to be vertical. Feeling almost like a little bit of a dumbass taking that long just to make the level vertical, but hey. Up. Well, will do. Just because I can't submit my ROM hack to Super Mario Central doesn't mean I can't just continue making it. That does not at all mean I can't continue building it. look like when I just initially enter this part of the level here. I'm gonna probably just set up a safe state for sure at the second half. Yeah, I'm likely just gonna consider getting the vertical auto scroll into there. And probably some like piranha plants and side pipes as well. That could possibly just be in 2022. Yeah, I definitely want to try and make it an actual thing. I mean, considering just, like, how huge a change in direction I took from, like, the hack before it to Colossus. Unless I also decide to count by the Harvest Moon. It's actually built in between, like, Colossus and Infinity Edge. Just took a huge change in direction with Colossus. Well... Um... Probably not a whole video. I mean, I could've just explained, like, the details behind it in this livestream, perhaps. Yeah, I'm gonna drop a safe state soon at this point. Yeah, I'll probably have to just do some dipping around with this background here. In the vertical level. Yeah, I'll definitely have to play around with it some. Can I play the forest music? Music forest reggae? It's probably in here somewhere. I'm gonna guess it's in here somewhere. I 
originally planned to just simply let this play. Everything that was in this, like, playlist here. Yeah, I'm definitely guessing that, like, Force Radio would be in here. Might not be, I haven't seen it so far. I mean, I probably would've put it in here if I was the one making this list. seen it yet. I mean, my initial plan was just let this play, and maybe it'll show up. I still have no idea exactly when that's gonna be. safe state here, better yet. It looks better, certainly. Oh, kind of like DDLC in a way. Okay, if I do this, will it even look any good? Okay, this is probably just an artifact of how backgrounds get rendered in Lunar Magic. Not as crazy as DLC. So I guess I should be fine then, right? You know, it's definitely able to handle DLC. Okay, I've just got the Framal Nets actually still cloned at the top of the level. I likely would have done it by now if I was interested enough, to be honest. Oh yeah, like... Yeah, I saw, like, Humpboy drop by one of my Magic the Gathering livestreams. Yeah, I think that first one I did drop by. Just wondering if this is gonna look any good. Definitely, like, inclined to just make this a vertical auto scroller. Alright, so I'm gonna quickly look through some files of mine. I didn't. Somehow. Yeah, this is what I want to look at here. Yeah, I think this is all the sprites currently in, like, Colossus 2. Okay, vertical scroll doesn't seem to be in the list here. A vertical wrap, horizontal level wrap. 
don't know, I just remember Vertical sc Scroll being one of these sprites. It's not in here either. Alright, times two times four. I'll take this one. That's CFG, this one. Well, no, not at all, when you finish it. Okay, I gotta insert the sprites now, so hang on a minute. Sprites applied successfully. Okay, Pixie inserted them. Okay, I need to insert a sprite. What am I doing? I'm pretty sure don't need to set an extra bit on this. I'm gonna see what this looks like. Let me see. Alright, it's scrolling alright. Yeah, that could still be worked on, perhaps. It's just, it getting to some submitted to Super Mario Central is probably just off the table. Just imagining it's really off the table. Given both of us did basically almost all the content in it so far. Yeah, imagine if I can still actually make that happen successfully despite the whole permaban. Despite the clearly unfavorable odds. Yeah, so I can definitely see myself trying to climb up on these. I had like an X4 in here also. Just gonna make sure I have it typed correctly. Shooters. Try to make sure it's just typed correctly. Yes it is. So you have to briefly move this over again. Yeah, I picked like one hell of a time to just basically confirm that Colossus 2 is indeed happening. Colossus? Let's type it correctly, please. Those are the steps on how to make a boring and slow lava section. Oh, flames, welcome back. Colossus 2, insert. I don't know for certain, I mean, I don't get to see exactly what happens behind the scenes regarding my ban. I mean, there's a rule in place against submitting on behalf of banned users. Which I highly doubt is going anywhere anytime soon. So yeah, how goes it, exactly? Okay, this... I might save this for a later level. 
Okay, also trying to force the player to go left and right while that is happening. Unless it's just really easy to quickly maneuver, then that's probably a bad idea to just set it up like that. I have a, an X4 in here as well. Apparently had this X4 just sitting around for years for all we know. Let me see how fast this is. Okay, I'm, n I'm definitely not using this one. Okay, that doesn't even look like it's close to being four times faster. That's way faster than four times. Okay, so I must have had that just sitting around for years. Completely forgot I had that. I cannot even use that one, period. That's straight up not usable. Yeah, like, what could I even possibly do with that? That's literally not playable, is it? <laughs> yeah, throwing an enemy alongside this doesn't seem like a half-bad idea. Well, to some extent, yes, but it's definitely not impossible to finish this ROM hack. Okay, I definitely have some grass in here now, don't I? Oh, and the vines too. Alright, so you're really suggesting I do that? I'd rather have, like, concrete evidence before doing any banning like that. Yeah, just banning someone out of spite? That's probably not gonna be what I want to do. That just doesn't sound like something I want to do, just banning out of spite at this point. I mean, I did kick you out of the controversial channel on my Discord server. Which I had a perfectly legitimate reason to do so. Yeah, I have that controversial channel so people can just debate one another about topics they don't necessarily agree with, but just... Then a line is being crossed when, like, someone's just instead, like, going into detail about how they see the other person getting killed. And tortured. Like, that's just crossing a line. I know this level has the plants that are sideways. If I want to actually use these, that is. Nine nine is they're going out to the right. What was I gonna do next? Yeah, so 9-8 would do that, 9-9 nine, nine would do this. Yeah, those are the sprite numbers I've inserted those sideways Venus fire traps with. Unless they just swap some graphics around, they're gonna look glitchy, but... But this one, honestly, just rather the side first if this is the way I want to go. If I want to use these or maybe something different. Okay, this plant won't even be reaching me, I don't, I don't think.
What do you mean? Like, who banned you? I didn't see any notice about you getting banned from Super Mario Central. Yeah, this planet's currently not really doing much of anything. Hold on, hold on a minute. I'm guessing maybe this was just like hours after I got banned. Let's see here. Let's see. I won't be surprised if that's the case. Okay, I just go in the ban warning lock and I'll see exactly what's in there. Oh, yeah. Alright, so... Sending graphic death threats to another user, along with promoting transphobic and racist views. This was probably just mere hours after my ban. And this was probably over the stuff you were posting in my server that I don't have to agree with. making edgy jokes. Okay, that's still my sprite list. I don't even know if I need to keep this open. I think I will just keep it open anyways. Yeah, I can still barely honestly decide what I want to do with this level here right now. Yeah, so... Two thirds of the Armadia team is permaband. Well, the two thirds of the team that actually submitted that demo, of, well, like, the One World demo back in, um, I don't know, half a year ago. So two of the three names on that demo are permaband now. Yeah, so getting Armadia on the site's basically gonna be impossible. I mean, I already brought that up, like, earlier in the stream. Like, I read that, like, on stream earlier. Well, can I summarize it? I still actually have it here, by the way. Yeah, I still got it here, by the way. Yeah, so much for really getting anything built. Yeah, it definitely wasn't just the incident, the, dr the stupid drama on our server a week ago. Let's just say I did like a handful of things that are definitely questionable at, at best. But I do feel like I have to defend myself regarding the death threat part because that's not me, that was another user in my server. And I did take away their rights to post in the channel that they posted that in. I mean, I have a controversial channel you can debate in, but just like, talking about how you're gonna kill someone, that's crossing a line. So I basically just took that person's like rights from posting the controversial away. I think this is a world peace part here. Oh really, what am I gonna do with this level here?
Yeah, but when has someone ever said something like that towards someone and it was, like, taken in as a good thing? Yeah, it's still definitely a reason to get yourself, like, banned. It's still, like, a legit reason to get banned, for sure. Okay, I could just say screw it and not even bother having, like, horizontal scrolling in this one. I don't think I need the horizontal scrolling for this to work. But what kind of enemies would I put here? Yeah, so I just want people to know for a fact that I definitely don't, like, encourage extreme views like death threats. I mean, I was advised to not really make a video or mention the ban on my live stream, but... Just what if someone sees this with no context? What if someone sees this and assumes the worst about me? Like, what if they think I'm really an extreme right-wing bigot who's perfectly okay with just like, threatening death on people I don't agree with. This is completely false. Yeah, I have some toxicity in my Discord server. But, let's just be real here. Like, it's definitely not SNW Central's jurisdiction to police my Discord server. Like, if I need to run it, then it's just me, myself, who needs to run the Discord server and actually just punish toxicity. Just still just leave me thinking if I should also just kick you out of the Discord server again, debug. I mean, I was definitely considering it. I mean, I kicked you out of the controversial channel because I had a perfectly legitimate reason. I mean, I'd be able to just back up why I just, like why the decision to ban you from that was perfectly reasonable. Yeah, this is definitely making it hard just brainstorm ideas, to be honest. Yeah, you know, all this is just making it really hard to brainstorm ideas for this level. I mean, first things first, I want to actually make basically every level of this memorable to some degree. Like, I want people to feel like they have a legit reason to play this. Like, the levels should definitely be interesting. Sort of have a reason of just being the way they are. If I change that color, that messes those up. I don't want to mess that up. Okay, I think I can screw around with this and not really change anything I don't want to change. That's tied to the background right there. That's also tied to the background. I don't remember what this was tied to. Keep this like outside of the bounds of the level. Okay, I kind of want to make these guys spit two fireballs out at a time, so I'll just set the extra bit this time on the plant here. I'll just do like extra bit set.
Yeah, apparently the problem is that I didn't do anything. I should have been, like, definitely more vocal about, like, you being toxic. Like, I should have probably actually really punished it. But even then, I don't know for certain if that would have made a difference. how fun this is gonna be in this level section here. While also being like not too unforgetting. Okay, maybe I'll just leave it at like this for now. I mean, I don't want to start off too crazy. This is literally the first two screens of the level here. Well, second half, which is vertical, so it's probably gonna play fairly differently from the first half, simply due to the fact that it is vertical, whereas first half was horizontal. definitely going to admit that I wasn't perfect regarding this whole drama from like the past week but again this is what I was afraid of even before it happened to me that people would get punished for who they choose to associate with like you cannot choose to associate with a person that's been exiled from a community without risking getting exiled from that community yourself I compared this to the social credit system in China where it could literally just pit friends and family against one another. Like, if your friends don't agree with what the government says and does, then you could also get punished for just positively associating with those friends. Like, that's how, like, communists run things. You know, or 60 original tracks. This is for Cormine, right? I would assume so. Right, I think like any sane person would just tell me to put a power up soon. I mean, I don't know, so you can actually take a hit. You don't have to play absolutely perfectly. Oh, you're gonna make Core Mine really long, so maybe that's why I haven't seen a release yet for it. You really plan to just go, like, super ambitious with it? Never, never. On off nets look very cursed. Well, these are these are my cursed on off nets. I had those in the first Colossus as well, by the way. They've been a recurring staple in my ROM hacks since the first Colossus. Yeah, so Daizo, these are the cursed nets. They also showed up in the first Colossus, by the way.
Yeah, think like the salt the on-off frame of blocks, but replace blocks with climbing nets. It's basically that. Yeah, I still hardly know if that would have made much of a difference. I mean, there were plenty of things I was doing that were also not just in my Discord server that they took offense to. Yeah, so we're just talking about some drama that pretty quickly, in about like a week's time, led to me getting permanent from Super Mario Central. Which comment? I mean, it was probably just actually somehow the toxicity in my Discord server that I'm responsible for, and not like Super Mario Central. Like, they think they're responsible, but no, it's really me that has to take responsibility. That's the straw that broke the camel's back. Yeah, that's why I was asking for alternatives for people to just, like, make their Super Mario ROM hacks to submit to. Like, there needs to be other choices when it comes to just where to, like, submit your Super Mario ROM hack that are, like, about as big as Super Mario Central. So, you definitely have, like, good evidence to support your claims, not gonna lie. Like, I've been doing this for basically on and off for, like, ten fucking years. I have done this literally for ten fucking years. For this to happen. I'm just gonna like make it clear. Ten years of this at least. I started ROM hacking Super Mario World in like 2008. Didn't do much in 2011 or maybe even not a whole lot in 2017. I've started this at least ten years ago. so I have alternatives. <laughs> I definitely had to just say that I had some sort of a backup plan in the works, in case it actually got to this point. Still honestly hard to believe that it did get to this point. What else can I say? Like, they're taking death threats seriously, and for good reason, because I guess when someone's life is really on the line, you should take things seriously. Even if, like, the person in question isn't, like, specifically directly involved in the death threats being made. I mean, that's just assuming I can control literally everything that anyone else does. And wh why would I just, like, want to control everything around me and just not let people do what they want to do? Well, that's the closest thing by far that made sense, considering, like, what was said about me and you in the, like, ban logs. That's by far the closest thing I could possibly think of that actually resembles death threats. Hell, if it weren't for that, then I would literally just think they were making shit up. Yeah, if it weren't for you doing that, they'd literally be making things up. Like, the level I'm working on, or the top left corner of my stream layout?
I'm gonna just go look back here and see what enemies I had. Okay, this was like the nipper plant. That's the one that jumps around. You know why you might have left the server? use it. just want to like figure out what can I really do to make this one like just really play well. Yeah, sometimes I really just sort of sit around for minutes on end just not even knowing what to do when it comes to making ROM hack levels. That's maybe why I don't like stream this too often because sometimes I really just sit around and do like nothing. I don't exactly feel like everyone is here to just watch me sit around and do nothing anyways. This one, this is the fire shooting nipper. I'm just wondering if this would be fair. I mean, it might start shooting fire while it's off screen. That would probably be really stupid. Pro player would have to react to that. If that works the way I think it might, then I just will probably scrap it. I might listen to it, like, perhaps sometime after the stream, most likely. Hmm, this is interesting, I guess. Good luck to get back to the positive spotlight. I, you don't hold grudges? That's good to know. I mean, I don't know how often Super Mario Central holds grudges against specific users. I don't think it's too common they do that, but it does happen from time to time. The grudges are just held. I mean, I really don't see like why like why not listen to that Cormine music once it's ready. It was some drama that happened in my own Discord server that got out of the Discord server to some extent. They might not even know you, probably now. If they don't even know you, then how could they? Alright, see you later then. Hopefully no one just dropping by the stream gets banned too. I highly doubt they'll go that far. I really hope they don't go that far. I'm just really hoping this ends up being, like, much better than I initially expected. Yeah, I can't say I won't have a reason to just, like, not give you it at this point. 
I mean, if you're asking for it, like, so politely, then of course... I mean, I still do want to, like, work on this level at least some more. I mean, of course the whole drama is gonna distract me from actually building levels and whatnot. I have, like, okay, maybe at most four screens since the stream started. Built four screens of this. I mean, I definitely want to just make sure my ideas are, like, gonna work well. I mean, I want the level to be, like, interesting. Like, actually have the player try to not die, but of course not make it unfair at the same time. Find line between, like, challenging and unfair, avoid the latter. <laughs> Whatever that was, that went poorly. like lay that down there then make this go up diagonally like so we'll have him climb it that way now of course let's just carefully put my hazards alongside another fire shooting nipper I could throw in and see how that goes you have to see what you said that <laughs> was construed as transphobic, just out of curiosity. I'm guessing you're fucking memes on George Floyd of what they consider racist, for example. Because I saw the racist part. make these plants actually look the way they should later. Yeah, they're glitchy. They're definitely not gonna stay glitchy for sure. I mean, they'll still function. They'll just they'll look super ugly in the meantime until I actually make them look correct. just move the plant in a bit closer. See if that's not too unfair. Yeah, this is honestly gonna be interesting. I'm starting to really like what I'm looking at here, level-wise. Definitely feel like I can try and do something with this. That's gonna definitely want me to jump there. Yeah, I could definitely see myself doing something with this here. <laughs> yeah, you gotta just be ready to dodge that. I'm just gonna just smack you upside the face with some fireballs. I could also show you the level that's gonna be coming up after this one that I still have to move over from another hack. 
Okay, it's definitely not the one by Matthew Quinn. Alright, just hang on a minute. This shouldn't be long. This won't be long. Oh. Oh, I see you know some German number now. We have joined you, basically. <laughs> this is literally just like, I w okay, I was about to say gangbang, but no one's getting gangbanged here. This is literally just a gathering of like banned users and some of my viewers at this point. Go and actually find this on ZMZ and open it up. Is everyone banned here? No, not everybody. Three of us are, though, including, like, the person who's doing the stream right now. I finished this one. I think I did. I know I didn't actually make this one. Yeah, this ROM hack I'm not planning to really finish, but I could see myself trying to just move some levels that were completed in this one over. For example, this one's gonna get transferred over to Colossus 2. Might see some significant nerfs, but this one's gonna get moved over to Colossus 2, I'm pretty sure. This is going to be the level after the undergrowth I'm making right now. Yep, this is going to get transferred over for sure. I can basically confirm it to you guys, this is going to be level 6-4 in Colossus 2. Yeah, I got, like, permaban and then decided to just give out a bunch of leaks and spoilers for the second Colossus. And I'm probably also going to just leak and spoiler my overworld I was building earlier. Yeah, that I started working on about a week ago in overworld. For a contest, I'm no longer eligible to enter. Because I just condone... Because I just, like... Support death threats, apparently. Because I'm complacent to extreme views, essentially. how many people would actually legitimately believe that I'm like this extreme right person. Like that I'm extreme right wing. I'm starting to really just wonder how many people would legitimately believe that. That I'm like super far right, which is false. No, I just consider myself like super libertarian, especially these days. Wanting people to have their freedom more than ever. Despite the fact that, like, just opening everything back up right now would just definitely put us at risk of COVID spreading again like wildfire. But I feel like the risk of that is not as bad as the risk of us just losing our freedoms, even more of our freedoms, and not be able to easily get them back. Gathering this summer, actually, perhaps. 
unless the cases quote unquote go up and everything just gets like like forbidden again. you were just trolling, basically. Yeah, I was definitely gonna call you out for trolling. I definitely have to just look through the chat logs and I could probably end up calling you out for trolling if I just look at them for long enough. I mean, it definitely looked like you were flaming at some points, not gonna lie. This one. I'm still definitely considering just nerfing a bit of this. I'll probably leave the boss as is though. I'm not asking for any leeway at all. What's happened has happened. And I'm also not gonna like consider trying to go back and just change how things happened. Yeah, so first things first, I was considering what if I would have possibly tried to just edit, like, my chat logs to make it look like nothing happened, but I definitely don't want to do that. Yeah, they say whoever controls the past controls the future, and I'm not about controlling people's futures, I never will be. Like, I definitely don't want to try to control the futures of others. eventually figure out where I want to send this level over to. I mean, I don't want to just let this go completely unused either, or any other, other levels that are in this wrong file that I didn't finish. I mean, there is a half-finished one in here also. Twitter just like slander who they don't like, but I can't. <laughs> like, well, I mean, I can, but I'll get punished for it. Whereas the people I'm slandering definitely won't get punished if they, like, try and just do it back. Yeah, like, I could slander the woke left, but I'll get punished for it. But the woke left could slander who they want, and they likely won't get punished for it as hard. I don't want to with how cancer splitters become. Oh, you mean SMW Central? Granted, they're not actually killing anyone with their toxicity when they're being toxic. Yeah, except there's definitely a lot fewer far-right communities, which... I wouldn't really want to find myself a part of one of those either. I mean, it'll just basically be the same problems I'm complain complaining about right now. Just everyone wants you to think the same, and if you don't, then fuck you. Just replace, like, one set of ideas with another, and, like, it's basically just the same problem.
Like, you really just have no idea just how much I've done for Jeruri and Underway in my Discord server. You have, like, no idea just how much I've done for them. I'm trying to remember what this one was called here. Like, you have no idea just, like, how many other, like, right-leaning communities could have easily just banned them for just, like, expressing support for their views. Just for, like, having the views they have. You, know, you have to just wonder how many communities could have just banned them on the spot for that. But that's definitely not me. Like, I'm not about to ban someone because they have, like, a way they see the world that I don't exactly agree with. Yeah, Bartek's absolutely right. Now I remember. Well, it was Last Bible. Now it's something else playing. Or going to play. Yeah, so I guess in case anyone just really wants to hear more specifics about the drama that I got myself into. I mean, I definitely did act in some ways that, like, would suggest that, I mean, I did deserve to be punished in some sense. I mean, I definitely had my reasons to complain. So I guess I can just pull up some screenshots I took that I posted on my Twitter that Super Mario Central did not approve of. Conversations from a rather, like, sensitive channel where, like, sensitive topics are discussed. And I just, like, took screenshots from that and posted them publicly on my Twitter so, like, basically anyone in the world could see what was going on there. Yeah, so for example, this is, like, one screenshot I took. This is actually, like, a moderator on Super Mario Central who said this. This is I shit you not from a moderator. You do know libertarians are far right. So basically, this person believes that if you just want people to have their basic human rights still, despite the fact that, like, there's a virus running around, if you just want people to be able to keep their basic human rights, just be, you know, fucking human, despite the government just doing whatever they can or want to just take that away from us, then you're, like, far right. Like, of course I was just gonna have to share this because this is just fucking ridiculous. Like, the amount of, like, just brainwashing that must be on display here is just, like, mind-boggling. Oh yeah, I also have this here. <clears throat> Someone else I knew actually took this screenshot. So yeah, apparently Super Mario Central says that basically everyone can feel welcome, but because, like, I supported people who supported Trump, I just, like, want to listen to what they have to say because, like, some of it really makes sense to me. I mean, Trump's no saint, but there's some things he did, there's some, like, viewpoints, beliefs he held that I definitely agree with. But this is the site manager, by the way. This person has a lot of power on Super Mario Central, openly saying that she has no respect for anyone who votes Trump or anyone who's Republican. Also, yeah, no respect for anyone who's Republican. So basically, if you vote for a certain political party, then can you really feel like welcome on Super Mario Central? Sure, like, you can rant about, like, one thing, if it's what, like, the majority of the community would definitely agree with, but if you have certain other beliefs, then will you really feel as free to just rant about what you want if it doesn't line up with what this person agrees with? Yeah, I just personally did not exactly feel like I could participate in 100% like the same way with the community that others could participate just because I have different beliefs.
Right, so also, hold on a minute. This won't take long. Okay, maybe it will. Hang on a minute. I'm just gonna go through some more files. In case you wanna see, like, the, like, controversy that Debug got himself involved in, Granted, I think I more or less started this by actually just posting screenshots, of course from Super Mario Central's Discord without their permission on my Twitter account, basically making their sort of private conversations public without really getting their permission to do so, of course. Because I, in fact, did not have their permission. Like, I'm definitely not going to contest that whatsoever. Like, I did indeed go behind their back for all of these. Yeah, so Rush Limbaugh was very controversial, I'm just gonna put it lightly. He has held some ridiculous, like, beliefs. For example, he was comparing COVID to the common cold, when COVID's a lot more serious than just the cold. And then there would just be, like, him celebrating the deaths of people, well, specifically gay people that died from AIDS. Yeah, safe to say, like, Rush held some pretty disgusting views, but... Like, the day he died, this was, like, some conversation that was going on in the reality corner on Super Mario Central. People basically just, in a sense, sort of celebrating Rush's death. And some of the arguments I got, like, in response when I questioned this, because I feel like just people are showing, like, a guy who just died no respect whatsoever. For example, this person said, they're dead, they're not people anymore. And then apparently it somehow turned into just, like, discussing the morals of respecting, like, if you should respect the dead in general, if they're still technically people at that point. Like, it's not the law that you have to respect the dead. I mean, just because it's, like, not the law. I mean, it's definitely, like, ethical to respect the dead. It's not exactly ethical to just, like, like, curse their name. I mean, it's definitely legal. Doesn't necessarily mean it's ethical if it's legal. So basically what I said in response on my Twitter, I mean, if you're just going to, like, complain about Rush Limbaugh being kind of an asshole regarding, like, when some gay people died because he was, like, pretty openly anti-gay and he used his radio show to just promote his views, his anti-LGBT views. So if you're complaining about him just doing that, mocking, like, gay people whenever they die from AIDS, are you really that much better if you're just... Yeah, are you really that much better if you're just going to just, like say stuff like this about him? Like, he's not a person anymore, so we can just say whatever you want about him. Like, are you really that much better if you're going to react like this to Rush Limbaugh passing away? Yeah, so this is the level I would have definitely... This is the one I'm transferring over to Colossus to. This is gonna be a 6-4. So yeah, it's gonna come after the undergrowth I was working on earlier. I guess I can maybe show you one or two more levels in this unfinished ROM hack. I definitely want to see if I can just bring them over to another hack. I don't know if they'll go to Colossus 2 or something else. I know at least one level I'm copying over to Colossus 2. Guaranteed. I don't remember where this was. Any Armadia ones. I think I did like half an Armadia level recently. hack. What do you mean in this hack?
any I could possibly copy over. I have yet to decide. I'm taking like at least one level and moving it to Colossus 2. That much is confirmed. Haven't really confirmed anything with the rest of the levels yet, though. Yeah, didn't both Trump and Biden get COVID at one point? I mean, of course, I didn't want, like, either one to really die from it. That would have sucked for, like, basically either of them regardless. I have to say I've probably recognized just about every one of these songs I've listened to so far. Just goes to show you how many wrong hacks I've played over the years. And definitely nothing stopped me from just playing more in the future. You know, I know what I gotta do here, but it needs to just do it properly, of course. Alright, looks like I got it. Yeah, I definitely got the work. From <laughs> my old Let's Plays. Yeah, I used to do things, like, very differently back in the day. Well, actually, no, let's just say I do things very differently nowadays. Yeah, I'm just basically showing off levels that I hadn't shown off to the public yet at this point. I'm trying to just think in my head, like, when I do want to, like, bring these back to a different ROM hack, like, where would I bring them to? Yeah, I should definitely try and be careful here. I'm trying to remember where this was from, Superstar Saga or something? Yeah, I might have to maybe change this one specifically. Okay, so it was another- it was a Mario RPG game. I just- I just named the wrong one, I see. Well, never mind. 
I'm probably gonna have to likely nerf this one if I ever wanna use it, reuse it in the future. And I didn't actually do Amaranthine D. In fact, I don't even think I finished all of Amaranthine C either. Yeah, I got like about maybe two thirds of the way through this one. Yeah, that pipe going upwards, that's supposed to be blocked off. You're supposed to go through here first, anyways. You were intended to go through here first. When? Well, actually... Four or five hours ago or so, so about middle of the day. I mean, it's actually written publicly in the ban warning log. Yeah, I can just look there and see if I'm banned or anything. I mean, that's something I did, like, sort of frequently since I definitely felt like I was on the razor's edge for at least some time. Not gonna deny, like, I definitely felt like I was on the razor's edge for, like, at least a month or two. Maybe even three months. Okay, that was supposed to just hit once, obviously. There we go. Largely. Uh, that's definitely a part of it. Not gonna lie, that's part of it for sure. Yeah, the whole thing about, like, the site manager, like, believing that all Trump supporters are monsters doesn't really help matters much, anyways. Yeah, it definitely doesn't help matters at all. Oh no, not too likely. That or it might just like make snippets of this live stream that explain it. Oh, this could be an old one. I know it's for sure. For sure it's unsampled. This one's definitely also unsampled, too. I mean, I've, like, heard so many of these songs I recognize the instruments. Like, just by hearing some instruments, I'll know if it's sampled or not. I think this level's just gonna cut out soon. I mean, I definitely can see myself trying to finish this one and reuse it. I mean, I had quite a bit of fun with the Super Metroid graphics, to be honest. I had quite a bit of fun with those. And of course, more fun with the on-off switches. Oh, really? Alright, pipe before I get, like, knocked out by grinder saws. And then this is where I didn't actually continue to build. I didn't continue to build past this point here. Okay.
Okay, so how long has the stream been for me to make only... Oh, not even six screens just yet. Let's just, I don't know, maybe five and a half. I definitely want to approach that one differently. <laughs> yeah, that's basically from what I've looked up what woke is. Seeing oppression even where there isn't oppression. I mean, it's definitely not hard to find oppression if you just choose to see it everywhere you look. Even if it's not always truly, like, a case of oppression. Yeah, I've even, like, heard that, like, there's lots of black people that are also fed up with this whole, like, debacle of race. <laughs> Seeing these issues just turn everything into a matter of race. Even the people that the woke left are supposedly helping or complaining. Some of them also do complain. Oh, this is Airman's theme playing now, right? Or something? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Like, I think I'm 100% sure it's Airman. Or is it, like, Torpedo Man? Okay, Airman was something different, wasn't it? I'm only too certain this is still a Mega Man song. I was gonna guess Torpedo Man after Air Man, to be honest. That was gonna be my guess.
racism is still unfortunately really prevalent in today's society, but it's not absolutely everywhere you look. I mean, just a year ago, like, there was at least three black people who were unjustly killed by cops. Yeah, like, just a year ago. At least three, and probably like several more. Yeah, if you look specifically trying to just like frame anything as homophobia, then of course. all this down a smidget, actually. Or maybe I could just make a second screen that's horizontal. I mean, yeah, there's definitely bad cops, not gonna lie. There's definitely bad cops. So you leave what be and ignore it. I can definitely see, like, where you're going with that. Okay, why are you suddenly bringing women into this extreme? Just wondering. I don't currently have any reasons to blame, especially not women in general, for what just happened. The two users debug is complaining about. I don't remember either one being a woman. Yeah, if at least one person, even worse still, like a person who has like significant amount of power over there, believes that we're extreme right for simply wanting people to have their freedoms.
seeing that we're dangerous and we don't care about anyone else. If at least one person feels that way about us, then yeah, it's definitely not looking good. It's against the site's rules, but does it really break any real world laws? I don't think so. Castlevania 3 to recognize this one. Even if most of my speedrun attempts don't often get this far, as in like level 9. make this any bigger than the next eight screens here. Even maybe 16 screens might be a push unless I just make this like second half just the 16 screens here. Yeah, I might just do that. Make that only 16 screens and whatnot. Alright, so... No, we'll do this. Kind of want to just like borrow some enemies from the first half here. Okay, I think this is the scattershot Venus that I typically just always color yellow. And the Shower Venus, I typically just always color it blue. I mean, they could be whatever color, but I'm just gonna keep, like, one yellow and the other blue for consistency's sake. Just more or less what I do. Look, it's a sort of standard I just decided on, like, a while back. Why are the entrances down there now? This I wanna do. Don't do that. Yeah, I definitely want to just throw a Shower Venus around here somewhere. Yeah, I definitely recognize it. Yeah, I don't even know if I'll be able to just finish this all in one sitting. I'm gonna guess I won't be finishing it in one sitting at this point. I mean, I'd like to. I was only, like, leaking usernames, and even then, like, I seriously think I shouldn't have even leaked usernames. Like, I don't even feel it was anywhere near necessary to leak usernames. I think I might have leaked, like, one username. I mean, Debug was just constantly mentioning jewelry in another way, so... That wasn't exactly on me. I don't know, submitting it. Letting it, like, be playable by other people, of course, but... Of course I won't have Super Mario Central as an option. I'm not gonna try and make that an option either. Like, I'm banned, of course I'm not gonna do something like, like re-ranking. That's just more or less futile, if you ask me. Like, why should I try and even pretend to be somebody else? Like, I feel there'll just be no point in even trying that. That would be, like, probably the one way I can imagine just, like, pulling off, like, a successful band with a B VPN and pretend to be somebody else, but... 
Would I just really want to spend the rest of my days trying to live a lie? Of course not. Yeah, but that's over now. <laughs> Did, past tense. <laughs> You're not still doing it last I checked. Right, where's my overworld? Yeah, no levels, but I did also have an overworld I was working on about a week prior. So in case you want to see what it looks like... Yeah, because I might actually just be ending the stream due to the fact that dinner might be ready very shortly. Alright, so just pretend these sprites aren't here. So yeah, so I was building an overworld. Super Mario Central is running an overworld contest. I would assume I am no longer eligible to enter it. So I have a main map and two sub-maps with not much to exactly do with them at the moment. Probably not gonna really consider like doing anything with these anytime soon. If my main motivation to make this was for the overworld contest that I'm pretty sure I'm no longer eligible for. Yeah, I definitely want to build this really nice rocky overhang. So I think, yeah, the world basically just started off with this nice rocky overhang. Then I eventually just went on to building a forest down here, then some plains, then a swamp. Yeah, one thing more or less just led to another. Until I got permaban, that is. Maybe some of this could be used for that overworld too, perhaps. I mean, can't even see myself possibly letting this just go to waste, you know. Like, this will have to get used one of these days for something. And preferably let it get used by me and not anyone else. Like, don't just let this show up in a low effort hack or literally everything's stolen from everywhere else. Yeah, god forbid this overworld shows up in, I don't know, fucking In the Galaxy Part 2. <laughs> Well, I can totally feel you there. Overall contest, that's, yeah, that's off the table for me. Yeah, the overworld that you won't get to see in the contest, but you'll definitely get to see it here. Yeah, I didn't touch Valley of Bowser, didn't touch Special World. Would have probably started work on these, but is there really a point anymore? I'll, I might just do something with this later, when I need more overworlds. And then this desert sub-map, and then this this sub-map here? I was just like one night- okay, fuck it. Let's throw a lightning bolt into this sub-map here. That I have to just like, put together on layer one. I decided to put this together on layer one. Definitely wasn't the easiest thing ever that I did. Yeah, my lightning bolt's supposed to stay there. Passing right through the middle of the sub-map. Yeah, definitely want to try something that I have not yet tried before making overworlds. I also didn't build a nice overhang like this, either. And again, I just did the fake HDMI gradient in the background here. Yeah, I did something very similar for bits and pieces on the main, like, the main map. For bits and pieces, that was probably one of my better overworlds, too. Yeah, I, you're right, I never did finish it. Yeah, so I can promise you, these are not just going to go completely unused, I'm not gonna hoard these maps. I could hoard this out of spite, but no, I'm not gonna hoard this. Just can't exactly say when these will see use in a ROM hack of mine. 
and it better not get used in anyone else's ROM hack without my permission. Yeah, I don't want to see, like, In the Galaxy Part 2 and more references to Total Drama Island. <laughs> yeah, I don't need to hear about Lindsay as Sleeping Beauty again. Not that I have anything against the show, it's just, like, still is totally random to see, like, Total Drama Island references in that ROM hack that just ripped everything off. <laughs> Yeah, so this could be the World 2 sub-map, maybe? Where would I use this, though? Yeah, this is probably one of my favorite sub-maps, to be honest. I mean, mainly because I just did something I haven't done before, throwing the lightning bolt right down the middle. In the galaxy wasn't really a crossover. Well, I was definitely disappointed in whatever it was. Just using basically just about... Well, using overworlds and probably also several levels without getting, like, the author's permission to do so. That's a huge no-no, just you don't, like, plagiarize content. Yeah, you just don't plagiarize, period. Yeah, so that's what could have been, by the way, guys. And what could still be just not an overall contest. Oh, you mean the sky needs to be gray and the... Oh yeah, Desert of Ash. Now I remember, you're right. Oh yeah. The late Gary Accord. Apparently he wrote a philosophy book called Heaven on Earth. And I was reading like one random blog post, a really obscure blog post that says that he might have plagiarized the whole thing. <laughs> yeah, I can't find the book anywhere. I mean, a philosophy book made by Gary Accord, I definitely would have considered reading it if I could find that. Oh, you mean the half of that level? Perhaps. <laughs> nice. Oh, that plant might be a bit too close to me for my liking. Not sure if everyone's gonna be that fast to save it from, like, getting hit by a fireball. Dinner, okay. I'm gonna probably just have to stop the stream, so you're not gonna get to see this whole level get finished at this point. As much as I would like to just do the whole thing on stream. Right, so can I just quickly close it out with the Armadia level? Oh yeah, that too. I think I need to load a safe state here. I thought to myself, okay, why the hell not just make a water level, but the water's upside down. Because I haven't done that before. I want to try something new, of course. Just trying things differently. I mean, I've definitely done water levels before, but not one where the tide is just literally up flipped upside down. Yeah, I'll just probably do, likely, the rest of that, like, vertical underground jungle level, so that second half of undergrowth off-stream. I don't know, I might do more of this as well. Especially if I'm feeling even more inspired to just quickly bang out levels. I mean, if I feel like I have to just sit around waiting for ideas to come, then I'll be less inclined to do more of these ROM hacking streams. Yeah, I shouldn't have to just sit around, because I don't know how many people are going to want to watch that. Yeah, you called that world name you want Heavenly Lake, so of course that just incorporate water somehow into this. But what if the water's upside down just to mix it up a bit? Sure, this defies gravity, but just to mix it up a bit, what if we did this? Yeah, there's this old, like, game development book I have, still have it on me. And I read somewhere in it that whenever it comes to, like, 
fun versus realism fun one. This was from like one group of game developers when they were talking about how they made their games. Like whenever we got the fun versus realism dichotomy, fun won. Top is water and the bottom is lava. That could be another level. Or heaven meets hell. Yeah, I wrote that in the spreadsheet. Definitely considering calling a level that, but... I'm not sure if it might be this one or a different one. Yeah, water lava hybrid would be interesting. I mean, I guess some people definitely want the realism. I mean, when it comes to, like, simulation, do you definitely want to aim for realism there? But this isn't a simulation of any sort. Yeah, I really wish I could have finished the undergrowth, but oh well. I guess if anyone just wants to see the entire level so far. The entirety of 6-3 and Colossus 2. I'll just play through it one more time, and I gotta probably get off. Well, I don't think I have to get off, but I will just choose to get off anyways. I mean, I do want to eat after all, and I don't need to be live for, like, that much longer, I don't think. I mean, I'm not really seeing myself, like, being the kind of guy who streams for more than, like, three hours at a time anyways. I mean, I won't be gone long, I don't think. What the hell happened to the music? It just stopped. I guess you get like no music right now then. It just randomly stopped. I mean, I was just gonna like play this level one more time anyways in case anyone got into the stream late and didn't see the first half of this in action. In case they want to see that too! Wow! Okay. A little clutch there, I must admit. I can clutch things sometimes when I really want to. And then we'll just follow it into part of the second half. Yeah, I can definitely maybe see myself doing more of these kinds of streams in the future. People got to see more levels long before like the hack actually gets released. I mean, that will probably definitely be a way to build up some hype. People are getting to see levels I'm working on long before the thing actually finished. Yeah, this thing also just has, like, sketches for an overworld. Plus, maybe there's also the possibility of some of the sub-maps in the... Well, what was going to be an overworld contest entry, but... My circumstances now make that just fall straight off the table. Some of those could also see use in the Colossus sequel. Oh no, I might try and design this part a bit differently so the plant is just, good, just doesn't go straight into the pipe after you get up there. Yeah, I have to go for now. And I'm probably still likely going to do that RSD Game Maker stream, but that'll probably be like maybe an hour or two from now. <laughs> 